This 65-inch bull was spotted from a lookout near camp shortly after sunrise on September the 21st, while headed directly towards the location that Wayne had called from at last light the night before. Wisconsin hunter Lynn Backus was shooting a 416 Weatherby, a gun that he hoped to use soon in Africa on a Cape Buffalo hunt. And though this bull was hit hard, he took off on a dead run while hardly flinching. Lynn and guide Charlie Huggins really had to hustle to get in position on time. Wayne had flown Lynn and his son Andy to camp on the previous afternoon, and this was the first day they could legally hunt due to Alaskan law which prevents hunting most big game until 3 a.m. following the day you have been airborne. Bullwinkle bites the dust. Yep. Well, here we're looking at Andy Bacchus. He was sitting in a, tr in a tree outside the camp about 8.30 this morning, just after he relieved me. And that's what he saw. I think he's got better eyesight, Wayne. Two days later, it was Andy's turn. Charlie and Andy were making some mid-morning calls about 300 yards south of camp when Wayne, who was taking his shift in the tree stand, saw this bull approaching their calls from a mile away. Upon seeing Wayne's signal, the hunters ran to position themselves so that they were concealed at the swamp's edge with a quartering broadside shot of the bull when he stepped into the open. The old Aston Kubot bull magnet worked again. That bull was way up on that hill coming to the call. Sex works as usual, ain't it? It's like you always say. First Alaska experience, Andy? First experience out of my home state. Okay. Start. I figured I'd start with the top and work my way down. Well, deer hunting won't be the same after this. <laughs> 